Urban mines, that refers to the above ground stocks of metals, as opposed to the underground stocks that are the, well, the geological mines. So there's a lot of copper in the ground in those ores, but there's also a lot of copper above the ground in all kinds of applications, in cables and wires and whatever. And this um, copper above ground, that is what is referred to as the or urban mine for copper. And that is really the mines, the urban mines, that we are looking at if we talk about the circular economy. Actually, there are quite a lot of gaps. So urban mines is, is a rather new idea. It's a new idea to, to look at the economy as a geologist, not as an economist, and looking for those stocks. And, and yeah, not a lot of research has been done in that direction. So there is lots we don't know. We don't even know how large they are. There has been a first investigation by the um, uh, International Resource Panel where people have looked into, well, how, how big are these stocks at, at the global scale? And then it appeared that, that there was almost no information, that only for a very few metals they could actually come up with an indication of the size of these stocks. And for all the other metals, well, the data were just not there, or too uncertain, or, or well, whatever, to come up with a, a reasonable estimate. So that's one the size of the stock, so we know what we have and what we can access in the future. Well, and then a second aspect is related to the lifespans. Uh, when we have, for example, we built a building, there's steel in there, and that steel will be in that building for uh, quite a long time. It uh, uh, can be uh, 30, 40, 50, or even 100 years that that steel is locked in that building, and only after this period, which is the lifespan, it comes out. And it's also, uh, well, different if you look at different applications. So for buildings it may be uh, many decades, for cars it will be something between the 10 and 20 years that it will come out again. For aluminium drinking cans it's, it comes becomes available uh, already after a few months. So lifespans is very important because then you know when, well, this, this material will become available, when you actually can start mining it. Mm. And then there is yet another thing. Well, if you, if you look at mines in the ground, you know, there's always uh, a huge investigation by those geologists. They look where it is, but they also look at the concentration of the metal in the ore. And that determines whether it's economically viable to actually access it. And the same needs to be done for the urban mines. In some cases, the concentrations are very high. In other cases, that is, so they are very low, like for example, precious metals or the rare earth metals. In mobile phones, they are there only in, in very small quantities, and it's much more difficult to get them out than to recycle um, copper wires, for example, where the copper is nicely concentrated. Mm -hmm.